Okay, so this last video is looking at inverse normals. So if I go back to my stats, I'll go to my distribution, I'll go to my normal. On F3, I've got inv N, which is inverse normal. Now, I want you to ignore this bit at the top. It should say tail left if you've got the more latest version of the calculator, the more newer version. If you're using the older version, that bit's not even there. I want you to ignore that because when we get to level three, in probability distributions, the calculators only can work up to a value in two of the distributions we use. And I think it's better that we have a consistent method that always works. So I'm going to draw my normal distribution again because I always like to draw my normal distribution. So here's my bell shaped curve. It's not very good because I'm trying to do it on a computer screen. But I know it should be symmetrical around the mean, which is 1.5. I know I've got a standard deviation of 0.125. I want what birth is exceeded by 30%. So if it's exceeded by only 30%, it's up here, it's at the top. And that is 30%. Now if my calculator only works from the left hand end and goes up to a maximum value, then I need to know what percentage is down here. And if that's 30%, then this must be 70%, because the two percentages have to add up to one. So when I come to do this, I move down to there. Now I've got to put percentage in as a decimal, so that's 0.7. That tells me that this value here that is exceeded by 30% of lambs is 1.566 kgs. Okay? So the x value for number 4, 1.566 to 3 dp. Okay, and that's how I've worked it out. So I've got my percentage, 70. And I would view this diagram here as my working out that helped me get that answer. Okay, I don't have to write down a huge amount because my, I've used my graphics calculator. But I do have to show that I know what I'm doing. So this last one, so that's number four. Number five, I need to have a new diagram. There you go. Now they've asked for the range of the central 70%. So if that is 70% in there, I know I've got 30% either side and I know it's symmetrical so I know I've got 15% there and 15% there so to get from the bottom end up to here it's a total 85% yeah so therefore on my calculator my percentage is 0.85 that gives me my x value at the top is one point six to one point six three oh to three dp now I want to know the bottom end so that's my value up this end I want to know that one that's only fifteen percent so I can go point one five and that tells me that x is one point three seven O to three DP. So I know for seventy percent is between one point three seven and one point six three kgs. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. That's my inverse normal done. Do normal distribution again at level three.